This is Mission Control Houston. Looking at the Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where a team of flight controllers are on duty, helping the Expedition 30 crew through a day focused on science and maintenance on board the International Space Station. Flight engineers Andre Kalpers and Don Pettit began their day with some tests of their reaction time in order to uh, monitor the effects of fatigue as while flight engineers Anton Skeplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin measured their body masses and observed for distribution of fluids. Later on in the day, uh, Pettit did the VO2 max experiment, which is measuring his oxygen uptake during exercise. All of those are part of the ongoing human life sciences research to find out how prolonged experience to microgravity impacts the human body. Other science work uh, done today included taking uh, measurements of the amount of methane and carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere. Flight engineer Oleg Kononenko was at the controls for that uh, Russian uh, experiment. Later in the day, he also took some microbial air samplings of the atmosphere inside the space station. For Commander Dan Burbank, a good portion of his day was spent in the Quest airlock where he was uh, setting up and then executing a protocol to scrub the cooling loops of two of the uh, spacesuits, the EMUs, or extravehicular mobility units. The spacesuits that are worn for spacewalks that are conducted on the U.S. section of the space station. Those spacesuits have uh, cooling systems in order to uh, to uh, keep the astronauts inside them at a comfortable temperature. And uh, during the times when the uh, suits are not used over an extended period of time, they require some maintenance to uh, make sure that the uh, loops remain clear of any debris. All of the crew members had time uh, during the day-to-day -day at some part to uh, take part in uh, daily cleaning activities and also uh, regular maintenance of the station. Uh, Burbank, Calpers, and Pettit spent some time uh, just after their lunch today discussing the mission in an interview with the Weather Channel. And late in the day, Burbank and Calpers performed routine eye examinations that are part of an ongoing effort to learn more about how human bodies respond and change during long stretches of time away from gravity. On Thursday morning, the team in Mission Control began planning for the possible debris avoidance maneuver, which, uh, if necessary, was scheduled to take place on Friday morning. The trajectory operations officers are watching a piece of debris from the Iridium-33 communications satellite that uh, might pass close by the station on two consecutive orbits on Friday afternoon. Uh, due to some unusual drag conditions and solar activity and atmospheric density, the uh, teams are developing a debris avoidance maneuver plan as a precaution. If that maneuver is necessary, it would be executed uh, sometime on a Friday morning at approximately 10.20 a.m. Central Time. Also on the schedule for the crew on Friday, CalPERS has a uh, ham radio opportunity to uh, talk to students in Belgium. Crew members will continue preparing the progress ship for departure later this month while continuing to work to keep their home on orbit humming smoothly along.